to the farm to table restaurant. I had never heard the expression before, but instead of appearing ignorant because I thought I was supposed to know, I said, excellent, that'll be great. I really had no idea what type of restaurant I was going to, but I was game. So that Saturday night, I quickly learned what she meant by farm to table. As we drove through the entrance to the restaurant, we were surrounded by green fields filled with vegetables on either side. You may be able to picture this restaurant, Mike. It's, <laughs> it's near our house. Not, not our house. <laughs> radishes and carrots surrounded us. But honestly, the most remarkable thing about that experience was the unbelievably fresh and delicious food that we ate that night. I had always believed foolishly that the food that I served, sometimes frozen, sometimes canned, sorry guys, uh, that it was delicious. No one ever complained. But then I tasted a, stuff, tasted a stuffed artichoke that night and some sauteed spinach at this restaurant, and that was it for me. Since that time, the farm-to-table concept has grown with more and more restaurants going in this direction. I have to say I'm so incredibly proud and pleased to be part of our school's farm-to-table initiative. Not only does it place CMS in the forefront of environmental awareness for schools, but all of our students and staff will clearly enjoy its benefits. By providing food and herbs for our cafeteria and our cooking classes, all CMS students will enjoy the same experience that I had at my first farm-to-table experience. Additionally, it's our hope that we'll have the ability to integrate this garden into various curricula at CMS. It's our vision that CMS students will be able to utilize this garden for hands-on experiences as they explore various aspects of science, social studies, health, nutrition, even world language cultural experiences. 